Hello and welcome to Seagull Social episode 45. I am your host Maz and of course I'm joined by the boys Ryan and Ben. How are we both? We all good? Southgate out. Four runs. Southgate out. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's the top, that's the current uh, feelings around the that's whole the energy. Of the country right now. Yeah, that's yep. the energy we're, we're feeling right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially after Italy winning all three games of their group and now well, and conceding none, and England can't fucking the last Scotland, fourteen so. games. Because they're yeah. scarily clear of us. That's why. Like they are yeah. astronomical. Do you know what? I backed Italy. I don't know. I don't know if I did it in our in our predictions, but I did it oh, with my work yeah. predictions. The one that no, we no, I swear record. that. No, yeah, no, I swear yeah. to God. No, no, yeah. I swear to God. I did, I did, I did. I got Italy and I got Lukaku top goal scorer. And who's the other one? My Basically, two goal Turkey, goal Turkey to win it. My goal <laughs> was Denmark, Denmark, Sweden, Ukraine. I think. What my bold Your dark horses. Yeah, I put Italy on my tweet as well, so I, I put it all on Twitter yeah. so that I could rightfully get abused if it went wrong, but. I think yeah. I'm all right so far. Because I, I, I've we'll got, go. um, I, I had Sweden as well as like dark horses. Um, yeah, but Sweden I don't, look I don't decent. See... Right, it, Ukraine right, yeah. look good though. Oh, Ukraine that, is that good. guy. That is yeah, that he's guy. a good like, yeah. I've never seen a bloke that tall be so good with his feet, other than Peter Crouch. Like that bloke, he's right, so good. good with his feet. I guess Dan and... Byrne plays tennis then. And also, and also, and he mugged off Gary Lineker as well, so that was quite funny. Um, did he? Did he? I yeah, didn't he see did that. An, yeah, he did an interview. Basically, so the interview was like, oh, um, so Gary Lineker basically praised him for the BBC and like said really good words about him. And then the interviewer from the Sweden camp said, oh, Isaac, have you heard that Gary Lineker has spoken about you? And he was like. Um, I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, it literally oh, does. I don't know that. Yeah, God. and then the, then the, then the interview was like, the interview was like, oh, he's, um, he's he was a top goal scorer in the '86 World Cup, and he was like, there's no way oh, he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> yeah. Surely, and he's like, he's like, oh right, yeah, like he's um, yeah, is he the old man in the studio or something like that? And then basically, <laughs> Gary Lineker's um, basically responded back to it like saying, cheers, oh, lad, really? for calling exactly. me old. Yeah, yeah. I bet if the press, I bet if the uh, interviewer was like, you know, the guy that shat himself on the pitch, you go, oh yeah, that <laughs> guy, yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the only way. Yeah, and does it? Does Lineker also have that mad stat where he's never got a yellow card in his career? Is that is that yeah. right as well? I think. Or, yeah. Yeah, oh, oh Wayne Lineker's brother. Oh yeah, yeah, that's all. <laughs> 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 that would have been brilliant. Oh, God, um, be right. Okay, boys, let's get into it. Obviously, this is a Brighton point, so let's talk about Brighton. We'll, we will talk about the Euros in England oh, uh, later on, but yeah, let, let's let's clear up all the Brighton chat first. Um, so the first one is Ben White to Arsenal. So obviously, strong links PSG recently too. with Ben White to Arsenal. Yeah, PSG mm. somehow. I don't know. Keep, keep oh, no, I haven't him. seen I haven't seen PSG link with him. Did they link with him as much as Arsenal were? Was that oh, no, was I know. Was I supposed to say this? I, actually, do you know what? I think it's oh. okay now because I think it come out in the. I think it come out. I think so. It's all right. But yeah, fifty mil bid from PSG and um, yeah, Arsenal. As I, can, well, I cannot quite, see that at all. Lovely. Imagine Ben White at, in Paris and Paris Saint Germain. I just Mate, I don't know. Or Neymar. Can, Imagine him. <laughs> imagine a back three of him, Kim Pembe, and who's who's the other one? Um, um, who's your other centre half, Ben? You're Marquinhos. Marquinhos. Oh, Marquinhos. Marquinhos. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. So, mate, that's a solid back three. You know? so, <laughs> yeah. It would like the odd one out. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah. No. I just but, couldn't um, picture him there. That'd be weird. No, to be fair, I can't I think even. It I can't be... even picture Ben White in an Arsenal shirt. Like in my in my head, I can't do it. No. I can't. I can't. I think he's gone. Piece it together. I think he's gone. Yeah, I can't see him staying but now. I, I always thought, though, I always thought that he'd give us one more season to sort of really establish himself. Because, yeah. of course, he's established himself, like, you know, his first Premier League season. But I thought he'd Second give us one more the season. season and he, then... like, proper stepped on it, didn't yeah. he, I think? Beginning of the season, well, he was a bit, and then second yeah, half. Yeah, ever since he got spun by um, Marcus Rashford, I think ever since then, he's yeah, sort of yeah, uh, fixed kicked up. on a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I'm not having this. I'm not getting mugged Actually, off every no, week in the Premier League. It was the Palace stupid thing that he did when he booted it in the air. Do you remember? That was oh, all right, Oh, God. God. Ever yeah. since that, he's, <laughs> he's got better since then. Oh, um, mate, that was a shambles. Yeah, yeah, well, whatever he's thinking there. But no, to be fair, Ben White, um, I think he'll go. Like, I, I can't really see him staying now, especially with all these big clubs. Money as well. 55 mil, I'm taking can end there the week so oh mate oh 100 percent. anything over 40 million for ben white i'll be honest with you i'll be like yeah yeah come I on, mate. I'll, I'll pack his bags i'll pack his bags for him i think, I think um, him hanging out <laughs> of all of these ballers as well in the england camp listen yeah. and then going back to yeah. the brighton camp i think that he'll mm. just be like 
I could be, I could, I could do better now, can't I? Yeah. Now, Even if it's a bit he's not there right like... now, he's, he's, he, I think he's done, an, he's obviously done enough on paper to be able to yeah. merit yeah. going to a bigger yeah. club in a weird and way. And he's definitely you know? got like, you know, your Jaden Sancho he's hanging around with at the minute, like saying, yeah. come on, mate, you can get a bit more money than 20 grand yeah. a week. Go and get 100 yeah. grand, 200 grand a week if you can. You know, so he knows, yeah, no, he knows he can get a lot more than that now. And My yeah. my only thing as well with, with the Arsenal move, which baffles me a little bit from, a, from an Arsenal perspective, is obviously they've got Saliba at centre-half who's meant to be like this up and young, you know, up and coming young we'll French centre half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll have a little, we'll have a swap, swap season if you want. Yeah. Um, but no, but I, I don't understand what, why from their perspective, why would they want Ben White when they've got Saliba already? That's what I don't really, because I know Arteta's really like it, doesn't it? They've it? got like holding Saliba. Rob Holding, yeah. I, I always see like Arsenal fans on Twitter put together 11 and when they've featured Ben White, he's always like as a sub and so I just think like they obviously don't really rate him I as mean, much as fair, isn't... Holding and Saliba and Saliba like, is literally playing like two games for them isn't he yeah and they, they all love White's Saliba, than Saliba. Than surely White's yeah. better than Saliba he's barely even played I mean he's just a football manager I... region isn't he that's like, well, that's the, thing. the only I, reason I, I haven't actually him. seen much of Saliba to be fair to actually it's fully just because he's good judge. on FM that's the only reason they <laughs> yeah, rate yeah. him like, they don't actually know what he's like Ben that's actually Ben this you this you no I'm joking but um, no, um, I just think Ben White's done more to justify playing for Arsenal than Saliba has because he's played you know a year in the Prem. He did well at Leeds. Oh, yeah. did he play for Leeds? But no, like he's he's he? done more to justify it. Yeah. So yeah, I think I can see him going fifty-five mm-hmm. mil, whatever it's quoted. It's, oh I mate, I that, so. the reason why I think it's I'll a strange signing little. is like I don't want Arsenal fans to get the hopes up and think that he's going to change it. It's not like you're signing yeah. Emmanuel Vidic into your team. Like it's a solid, a solid suck. addition to your team that you won't have to worry about for a good few years unless he makes a step up after Arsenal yeah um, he's a solid he's a solid he's a solid person Simple you want to get up. he's not going to go and change your, change your defence you're not going to concede no. any less goals really but he's yeah he's a solid player that you yeah. should be happy with I, I mean think. to be fair yeah. probably, as I say he's better than Slipper he's probably better than Holding as well isn't he I, I don't I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's better, he's better than Holding, than holding. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't rate so, Holding that much at all apart from Gabriel Sorry. I think he goes into their team to be honest so That's yeah, he probably I, I think I think him. holding, I think holding gives him that like holding is uh, one of those players. He's like big, very good aerially, but you know in terms of mobility, he's no in it. Like Ben Ben yeah, White's very yeah. mobile, isn't he? Like he's very he's quite quick. No, he's not Arteta 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 well. football manager. You know when you select, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get it out. Arteta yeah. ball, uh, Arteta ball is um, ideal for White as well. He's very similar to us, so mm. he'd probably fit in there. And they play. Do they nice play football. five at the back or four at the back though? I don't know. I think they, don't they play? Don't they play three? I don't know. I might be wrong though. But I know. I know that Arteta's. Um, I, I have faith in Arteta. I'm not even an Arsenal fan, but I feel like he's going to do bits. Trust. Eventually. Trust the process. Yeah, I feel like he's going to do okay. well. I just have that feeling. I don't know why, but yeah, I just think. I don't know. If he goes there, I think he'd be all right. Right. No, look, yeah, well, last question on Ben White then, on uh, with regards to sort of how it, it can impact us. So let's start with you, Ryan. Do you, yeah. How big of an impact would it be if ben, if we did lose Ben White? Do you, is that like a huge blow or do you think we've got enough like... Because we talk about replacements, Ostergaard, you know, Clark, you know, are they good enough to... Even Beltman. Would you start Beltman right centre-back and yeah. have Lamptey right wing-back? Yeah, I, I think um, if you look at the podcast at the beginning of the season, I was saying I think he's overrated and stuff um, and I would have taken 30 mil for him. So, you know, I don't think it would be an awful loss I think mm. it'll be considering his second half he's been really good don't get me wrong but I think 55 mil would take that reinvest it as cover a bit of the debt as well and then we've also got you know look at Ostergaard Clark even you know even if you don't put Veltman in the right centre back you've still got Clark and go left and then Webster right so you know you've not yeah. really lost out mm. too much um, and I think Webster's better on the right anyway um, yeah, then you've is. got Lamptey Veltman on the right so you're fine I think we do need help left left back but yeah, yeah, I think um, I think it'll be okay. I don't think we'll struggle. I don't think we'll invest into a new centre half either, because even Van Heck as well. We've not really spoke about him, but from whatever I've spoke to, everyone says he's he's quality. So yeah, I think um, yeah. I think we'll be covered. I think we're okay. Nice Ben. Anything to add? Or... Um, yeah, it'll be a shame to see him go. But yeah, we've got pretty decent depth at centre back as well, and I'm I think I'll be more excited to be putting that fifty million. Hopefully. I know it'll be covering a lot of debt that we have and the net spend. I think we were like seventh in the net spend league for the past like four seasons out of all the Premier League teams, that, well, all the teams that have been in the Prem. And then if yeah. we sell like Lamptey, I know we probably won't sell Lampty in summer, but if we sell yeah, Basuma and Ben White, we might, mm. we, would, we would drop like literally to the, close to the bottom of the table again. Because it yeah. it's not a good look having that mad net spend and never selling any players. I mean, and we do, see, um... do, we do need to start doing that. And that, mm. then it just shows the academy's paying off. So that's a positive. And yeah. another positive is, yeah, putting that money hopefully into a position that we actually need like a striker, striker. Yeah. 
hundred percent. And also, like that, yeah, no. that um, net spend stat is yeah, it's pretty horrific to look at because people always bring it up in argument. Yeah, but um, you know that was the first two years in the in the Prem on it that we really spent so much money but got no mm. rewards. So I quite like the fact that since Dan Ashworth Potter have come in, completely changed that philosophy of going for young players. I mean, I don't know what our net spend is since twenty nineteen, but I can imagine it's a lot better than most in, t- in most in the league because. I can't think of much that we spent apart from Mope and Trossard at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be, n- it'll be near enough the same. I, I, I think, like, from the top of my head, it was like 285 million. I feel like it was around that. So, yeah, if we get 50 for Biss and get yeah, maybe 50 crazy. for White, yeah, you look drop like it down significantly. Try and bring yeah, that down yeah. a bit. Yeah. No, definitely. Um, so, you, and you, Ben, you, uh, well, yeah, to be fair, mate, yeah, I don't really want to sort of just repeat what you guys have said, but yeah, pretty much <laughs> echo what you, what you both said. Um, so, yeah, it, it to, to do with regards to getting that down, I think it's, it's massive. And yeah, I, I just want to see us to reinvest in like the most important for me is left back and striker. So if we can just get sort of two of those areas covered, right for me, that's, well, that's what I, I think. Want. It's an uh, underrated position we haven't really covered. I, I think, you know, if mm. Potter does go for wingers next season, I think, ugh, I don't think we've got great cover in right wing at all. And I think it'd be vital to get someone decent, you know, I, I don't yeah. know. So yeah, yeah, basically, as well. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, there's more important Jahan positions Bush. to cover, really. I think I think centre back we're, we're more than covered. I think that's the big key takeaway, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Like, if we do lose thing. someone from centre half, we've got enough people to back it up. So, yeah. but you, you mentioned um, Lamptey, Ben. Uh, so let's talk about Lamptey as well. He, I think, was it a forty million pound bid actually came in from Spurs? I think it was confirmed was it? that they actually put a bid Did in. Yeah, but in? we rejected. I saw, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I read. I read it. Ke- no, I'm pretty sure they they actually. Well, I'm pretty sure from what I read, it was um, they put a forty million pound in, but we basically said no. And Lamptey, I think, has come out and said he doesn't want to leave and he wants to play for another season. Really, I didn't so, see that. Yeah, Decent. yeah. I, well, I'm I'm pretty yeah. sure. I saw, well, when I you, when that, I saw Sky Sports, like it's just, we I think we said it before, but like so you just can't trust Sky Sports anymore unless it's like <sighs> unless it's like the nailer the nailer equivalent for someone's club like Tottenham mm. is Al- Al- Alistair Gold, yeah, and then Fabrizio Romano, obviously that they Fabrizio like the and Andy are the only ones I try. I'm Brian Owen. Like yeah. I don't trust Sky because they literally just do things to tilt the favour for their Sky bet now. So they'll put like yeah. Lamptey yeah, out. Yeah. Lamptey's got interest in Spurs, but it will just be oh Lamptey's odds have gone down. So now we can try and get people to bet on it. So like, that's yeah, just what they do. 100%. So it is pretty no, stingy from them. But yeah, no facts. Uh, but no Lamptey. Like, do you know what it was? I, I think that that injury. I know this goes without saying. It's sort of pointing out the obvious but I think he's in, obviously him being out for the majority of the season put a lot of clubs like they, they don't know yeah, what they're getting good. yet because he only yeah. played like what a quarter of the season wasn't it like I think he got yeah. injured after yeah about a quarter of the season so yeah. no one really knows about him that much to be sort of fully warrant going in and buying him so that, I suppose yeah. it's good for us and if we can get another season out of him playing the way he did in the first oh, quarter please. of the season yeah. that would be that would be incredible for yeah, us I, I, but then, I said on Twitter that um, with Lamptey someone said oh Ryan how much would you want from him but I just think I wouldn't sell him for a lot of money because I think with Lamptey, he's so rare in what he is. I don't think there's many players like him. So, mm. you know, with White, you know, you can get another ball player centre half. With Basuma, you can get another holding box to box midfielder. With Lamptey, there's not many players out there that's going to reach 36 kilometre an hour sprints and be able to defend as well. You know, it's say, just very rare. You don't get many direct players that run direct. I don't know if it's because I've been watching England and they don't make any direct runs, but <laughs> even in the Premier League, really, I can't really think of loads of players that will get the ball and you know they're just going to run. A lot yeah. of them will just get the ball, maybe pass it centre mid and then make another. He's so I'd direct. argue though with, with mm-hmm. Lamptey though he's, he's, he's well, if we're talking about sort of the England setup as well he's so unlucky that he's got what arguably sort of the best right back so Reese James Trent Alexander Arnold um, mm-hmm. sort of Carl Walker like all these incredible Wan Bissaka all these incredible right backs like during his time so it's a bit uh, like yeah, for England it's, it's going to be tough for him like it's a lot of competition in it before uh, his but, injury though I'd have put him above. Uh, Reese James, I think, and uh, that's an unpopular opinion, but I would have done. Um, yeah, the only I, thing I that think let down Lamptey. <laughs> for me, that's no, too I don't far, even I mean. like. I think up until they won the, cha- the only reason that he's so rated is because they won the Champions League and they had that one of the easiest runs. But fair play to him, they beat City. Um, but I think before that, up until it, I thought Lamptey was like everyone was praising him as one of the best in the league already at his, mm. in his position. If it's just a shame ha- he got If he had carried on, yeah. If he had carried on at yeah, that level easily. for the whole season, then there's yeah, no doubt that he would have had a big shout for getting in the team. But yeah, he has got so, he's got that, so he? many people. Yeah, he was linked yeah. to Bayern. He's mm. just got so many yeah. people ahead of him, yeah. like you said. It's tricky. Yeah, it's, but yeah, it's, no, it's he, is, he is rare though, Ryan. Go back to what you were saying. Very rare player. And hopefully, yeah, one more season get out of him. 
I guess the only player like him I can think of is Alfonso Davies. Yeah, I can't yeah, think of anyone that. else mm. that's similar to. Yeah, him similar, all. similar. Only thing, obviously, uh, Davies has got in his favour is a bit, bit more height, isn't it? In terms oh, yeah. of like yeah. physicality and stuff. But, but yeah, no, no, definitely similar in terms of style, like styles of play. Very similar. They love There's getting no forward. Like him, good defensively. Yeah. No, mate, I, I, and I think we're very lucky to sort of have him next year. And hopefully, we, I think we talked about it, was it, uh, quite a few pods ago. We talked about his injury. Is that, is that could that be uh, one of those career injuries where it just keeps recurring? And like, is yeah. he going to now go down that route? But I don't, I don't know. It's, t- it's tough to tell, isn't it? Like, I think that's why they right took their time with him, though. Because remember when he first got injured, they were like, it'll only be three weeks. And then, okay, okay, mm. now let's operate yeah. on it. Now it's going to be for even longer and longer. Mm. I don't think they wanted to rush him back and... Because I think yeah, they, I, feel like I remember reading signing, it, they were like, they were eight, they could have rushed him back, but that would mm. have not been any good for his actual like, future career. Whereas yeah. probably a few clubs like 10 years ago would probably rush a player back because they needed some results. <laughs> Hewton, <But. laughs> Jose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, I speak. Well, yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, I, I think he'll, hopefully he'll come good and we, we can see the best out of him this season. And then going on to the, the big one for us boys, I, I know we all, I think we're all guilty of, uh, we all tweeted about it. <laughs> the Nico, Nico Gonzalez trans. Oh, yeah, the Nico Gonzalez. Yeah, it's one of those things again. It's like, oh, we didn't want him anyway. Um, didn't kind want of him, Who even is it? <laughs> yeah. Mate, you've got worse, worse XG <laughs> than, uh, worse XG or Charles <laughs> than Mope, something like that. I guess. No, I was yeah. Chris O'Grady, mate. Don't even. <laughs> 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 so just just to clear up for anyone who obviously uh, anyone in the Brighton community is living under a rock uh, and didn't see it um, so yeah Stuttgart striker Nico Gonzalez um, he is uh, now all but confirmed is that for Fiorentina yeah, 25 mil Fiorentina, yeah. I think yeah so um, yeah t- I think all but 25 million uh, well, for someone Fiorentina. commented one of our Instagram posts being like oh I think he's West Ham bound but I don't, I don't West Ham yeah really? I don't know if that's true that'd yeah. be weird but yeah, it, it was pretty gutting to see Miss C. Nico. And mate, Alexis McAllister had one job to get his best mate to join the club. Like, <laughs> yeah, how do you let that slip? How do you I let that slip? Alexis job? at this point. Yeah. <laughs> you should get, get sacked simply punishment. for that. Yeah, punishment <laughs> for not getting him. But no, but week's it, wages. What, what, one thing I was a bit baffed about, it was um, the fact that, well, the, I don't, I don't know. The, uh, the club didn't come out, but I think like uh, a few different sources, quite reliable sources, were like, "Ah, oh, uh, I think Romano even tweeted it, saying that he's pretty much close to signing to Brighton." So I don't he know what, what must have. Ha- yeah. So, so what what happened? Like, what happened from the apparently being signed to then basically confirming him for Fiorentina? What 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 could have happened? He saw the crackheads at Brighton Marina and thought, no, <laughs> "Yeah, this is more appealing." He was driving. <laughs> basically, this is what happened. So he, la- he landed in Brighton, touched down in Brighton, driving through Brighton, thinking, oh, this is a lovely place. Then it's like, let's, let's, let's drive you to the training ground. And then, unfortunately, getting to the training ground, you have to go through Lansing, which is an absolute dive. <laughs> Sorry if you live there. And then he was like, okay, this isn't for me. And then he's probably on his phone, seeing that the bright, another Brighton striker's girlfriend's going to Love Island. He's like, nah, I don't want to part of this service. Let's, fucking get, let's go to Florence in Italy. Get me back. Uh, probably. One of the nicest places to visit as well in, in the whole of Europe. Like, it's just a shame yeah, that Florence is we've been gorgeous. bam boozled by a city that literally looks like this yeah look so, at yeah, that I mean yeah, fair, beautiful. fair play and they <laughs> play in yeah, purple as well go. imagine playing in purple or something. oh yeah they, they, have, they have, yeah, got kit. have got a great kit they've got a great kit so that kit. might have been might have been a big catalyst in that but no I mean look uh, the, the striker search goes on uh, so another person we were linked with was the gang striker so right, Paul Onoachu uh, yeah, um, I, I don't know much about this Paul Onoachu six foot seven was? Maz Six foot seven. I was just, I was just the same guy we talked about the other week. <laughs> no, I yeah, he's we the talk... one. He went. No, no, this him, is where. Like, you're thinking of Simi. You're thinking of Simi. Uh, oh, yeah. This is just, a new just, guy. Just ca- casual Gen- racism from Maz. <laughs> <laughs> tall, tall striker. Yeah, that's this guy. I be. mentioned this guy like um, just as a a dream thing in in January on it. Like, I'm pretty sure if we go all the way back to January, I'm pretty sure we mentioned some Nigerian striker from Genk. Um, because he had like 20 odd goals and he's just a massive big target. 30, I think it's like 32 goals and 39 appearances this season. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Something like that. he's done really well. And he's but, giant. You know, yeah, he's giant. But I don't even know if it's true, but if it is, then it'd be a very good signing. But it's like, it. I saw um, 18 well, million. Around, I've, I've, just tried, I've just tried searching his name on Google and uh, it just goes, are you sure you didn't mean Paul Ianacho? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I don't want Paul. I don't want Ian Paul, yeah, I want yeah, He's Paul. a massive. Yeah. Uh, he's is that just a Leicester big fan Nigerian that changes forward. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what's going he's on. He's massive. Right. He's absolutely massive. Um, oh, West Ham are after him as well. We've got West. Interesting Hammer. that he's six foot seven because he used to play for Midgetland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very but, good, very good. Um, um, no, um, mate, that that's actually mad though. He's got a mad <laughs> scoring record: forty-two goals and sixty appearances for a game. Yeah, that's very impressive. Look how tall he is. But, Jesus but then it is the Belgian Pro League, though, isn't it? So 
is that a, is Trossard that a was the captain of that was the captain of that club, wasn't he? So, yeah. 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 We he do love he raiding in the like, ganks. Do you know what Leandro Trossard? Right, Maz is going to be a bit of stick this season. It's safe to say, but I actually saw his yeah. return: five goals and five assists this season. I mean, I mean, he's missed some sitters, but that's not that bad, is it? I mean, ten goals and ten goal involvements for bottom of the league. I mean, it's not too shabby, is it? I mean, it, it could be a lot worse. Uh, yeah. I mean, and he yeah, could also be a lot yeah. better off. Um, yeah. No, no. So, I mean, yeah. it's not. It's not the worst, but it's it's not, not not inspiring to say the least. But I mean, look. Hopefully, if he's got a strike, maybe maybe it is the fact that he doesn't. The people he doesn't have confidence in the people in front of him. You know, like he goes from Belgium, right? He's got mm. Lukaku and the Boyner around him, and then he yeah, goes back to yeah. Brighton. He's got fucking Mope up top and Aaron Connolly <laughs> on the uh, fucking going on Love Island. In so. Love um, yeah. So yeah, sure, sure, um, sure. yeah. Maybe he just needs that striker in front of him to get that confidence. You never know that 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 could be with him. Uh, right, next yeah. one. Uh, proper to PSV, pretty much confirmed. Oh, right, I think as of, as of this yeah. morning. Um, pretty much, yeah. To, just for ten, 10 million. million like that. I mean, that's See, that's decent. Go, but oh, yeah, I'm happy though, that. You're gonna take that. Yeah, that decent, yeah, mate. Yeah. Ten million for for what? A twenty nine year old, twenty eight year old, something like that. He hasn't uh, really played this season either. Like we yeah. barely played him, no. so. He's not really a loss, unfortunately. Hey, but anymore, so. I think I saw I thought saw one comment. I think it was on your post, uh, Ryan, on Talk Seagulls. I think someone wrote something like, "Oh, like good riddance" or something like that. I was like, "That's a bit harsh." Yeah, like, yeah. what? What? Like, he's he was a great servant. He played he played mm-hmm. really well for us. Whenever he played for us, I thought first he played really season well. he was like a standout, wasn't he? Him and Stevens yeah. played quite well together. Um, yeah, I yeah, have memories of him. I can't think of anything Same. negative that proper ever. He did really. give the ball he's, away yeah. quite a lot. Like, if I was to be critical, but. Um, no, he's a good player. He's a very intelligent player as well. So I yeah. think he was let down yeah. by the fact that he and, probably and didn't have much quality around him. Technically, yeah. very gifted as well. Um, like, he was one of the first bright players where so. we signed, and I, I saw him, and I was like, "Like this is this is quality. Like this is one of the yeah. most like quality players we've ever signed." That. You could just see, just see mm-hmm. the professionalism. Just yeah, yeah. He was an absolute bull. I mean, I remember um, took us to the next level. Yeah, I remember Chris. Uh, Chris I remember Graham Potter said that um, Proper is the most intelligent player he's ever worked with in his life. He just said his, his football knowledge. Right. He does, he's a man of few words. But when he speaks, he's got so much sense. So, you know, yeah. I think maybe that's why he gave the ball away so many times because he saw a pass that maybe someone else didn't. <laughs> Others so, did. Dan Byrne didn't. Yeah. Um, yeah so, <laughs> so you know, maybe you can see that. But no, I mm. proper has been a good servant. Uh, 29, 10 mil. Going to take it, on we? So, yeah, yeah, all the best to him. No, 100%. Happy with that. Oh, man. Happy with that I, I think it's I think it's great for both both parties. Like he's going to go on hopefully play for PSV like start week in week out, and we get mm. ten million out of him. And we've had yeah. a great few years out of him as well. So yeah. I think yeah. it's, it's a win win for all parties. I love my and intelligent all the midfielders, luck. but I think Pascal Gross, Lalana, etc. Yeah, yeah we've got enough, etc. I think are too much. Yeah, too much better than him. So much better even than. So no. yeah. the, the funniest memory from. Uh, Davy Proper is when uh, Chris Hamill said that he looked like a CEX worker. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Quite I, even, I did a Photoshop, didn't I? Yeah. I did a Photoshop yeah, that, of Proper. Yeah, yeah, I remember Photoshop. that. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was brilliant. Um, right, next round, <laughs> boys. Davey proper. Yeah, shout out Davy Proper. We'll, we'll miss you, mate. Shout but, Chris um, thank you, thank you for everything you've done for us, mate. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Uh, right, next one. And now, Ben, Ben, you've been very vocal on this subject. Uh, Never. It's the old, uh, it's the old Lucinda and Aaron Connolly uh, Love Island drama. Now, I mean, you do, put this do, in, in the, in the doc, so, back again. Yeah, so Ben, yeah, Lucinda's in the diary room. <laughs> oh no, that was that was my Love Island. What? No, absolutely. I've never watched Love know. Island. So yeah, same, know. same. I've never no, watched Love oh, Island in my life. Okay, so that maybe maybe it was good. I Lost on us. Yeah. yeah, you know Ian Sterling. He does the anyway, but, anyway, Ben. Uh, moving on. Um, so yeah, <laughs> oh no! Anyway, so, none of you watched Love Island, so we can't even talk about this. It well, would you want absolutely to... hilarious. We'll have loads well, of memes for like so two is she, months. Is she is she hundred percent confirmed in it? She's going to be announced as a contender today. I think. I don't. I'm not going to be watching it? it this series. Like I didn't watch it last season. Mate, you've season got. Before. If you're watching, if you're a fan of it, surely you've got to watch it when a Brighton ex girlfriend. Yeah. Is on it. Surely that's the one time yeah, you're going to sure. watch it. Oh, I'll, keep, yeah, I'll keep an yeah. eye on it and give us updates on the podcast. I'll do that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay. Watch it for watch it for research purposes. Uh, that's what. Yeah. You can oh yeah, yeah. Research to. purposes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's going to get you. Yeah. Watch her followers are going to be three million by the end of this. She's going to go from whatever yeah. many she's got now to three mil. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they all do, don't they? They all they get something. They all smash it on the socials. Um, I was going to say just just final thing on that. Um, so yeah, again, just to explain to anyone who doesn't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, uh, according to very reliable sources, i.e., Ben Spalding, uh, Lucinda, <laughs> who is Aaron Connolly's ex girlfriend, um, is going on Love Island. So for anyone who didn't know that what we're talking about, mm. that is basically the context for you. It is right, Moy Peak, Moy Moy Peak. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be great for me. Oh, mate, imagine the, one last thing, actually. Imagine the banter in the changing room. Like, I was all just the about lads, to say, like, he's, yeah, he'd be he's getting, getting ripped. Get... Webster's yeah, going to absolutely tear him apart. He's going to get if you, see, well. if you see any of Aaron's posts or Webster's posts, and <laughs> oh, one, on of them two, one of yeah. them two commenting <laughs> beef in the comments, like you know they're going to be ripping the shit out. Oh, yeah. mate, surely. They're gonna be I mean, I don't think he'll be getting ripped out of the... Uh, Brighton training ground next next season anyway because he'll probably be getting ripped out of the Grimsby one or something like that. Sorry, moving on. Uh, right, uh, Jurgen Lacadia uh, uh, is leaving FC Cincinnati. Oh, FC yeah. Cincinnati, man, yo yo, MLS, bro. <laughs> he scored some dub touchdowns over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him he's, him he's he's been so yeah. bad in the MLS that he's not. They're not extending his loan and making his deal permanent, so he's going to yeah, be back fraud. at Brighton. Uh, hopefully, hopefully he'll be imagine, starting banging in goals on the bottom. The imagine, I uh, imagine he actually came back and he was like 15, 20 goal striker a season. That'd oh. be if that brilliant. happens, I mean, I will genuinely. I don't even know. To be honest, I'll do anything. I'll let you do anything. I'll dye my hair blue a if he comes him. back as top scorer next season. Get right, you on your face. I, right, right. If, yeah. if okay, wait. So if Lacad, let's let's do a thing. So if Lacadia, yeah, I'm happy is to. Top, Okay, so if Lacadia is top goal scorer for Brighton, so just for Brighton, so he's yeah. the top goal scorer in the club, uh, would yeah. you streak at the Amex? Oh, nah, come on, no. <laughs> no I'm not getting arrested <laughs> for the sake of it. But I would like, actually think it could happen, though. There's no chance but, of it happening, Ryan. Yeah, but still, yeah, there is no in the, chance. In the small, there tiny no... chance that happens, I'm not doing that. But no, I don't... I'll, I'll, get, I'll get his face tattooed on my ass. No, does, oh right, what we could do, you know, like how you know in the Champions League final when that woman came on uh, streaks on the pitch and she had Vitali dot com uh, on her chest. We oh, could Vitaly. you do that? I don't like, remember, we, but... we, Oh well, could you do that for Seagull Social? Just have it stripped across your chest, <laughs> yeah. and then run on the pitch, oh, God. and just right. Let's get a Seagull it. Social banner and just run on with it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any uh, mate, literally great. anything that's not going to get me arrested or cancelled, I'll do okay, for um, the sake of it. <laughs> yeah, just get just get his face tattooed on your ass or something like that. Yeah, oh, well, we're, still waiting, we're still waiting. Still waiting. We're still waiting for or get Joseph's, my ears pierced um, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah do are. that. Well, we're still waiting for Joseph's uh, Ben White tattoo. The little fraud. So Joseph, you listen, yeah, mate. That? You're a fraud. You're the biggest Brighton fraud need, ever. He keeps saying he's going to get it done, and he needs to get it done before Ben White leaves Brighton because that's going to be even <laughs> yeah. worse. You see, yeah. he's got to get an Arsenal player on him or something. Yeah, he's got to get an so Arsenal player <laughs> tattooed on him. <laughs> yeah, Joseph, good, if it? you're listening, mate, get that get that tattoo sorted. Just get it done. Be done. Right, next one, boys. Uh, Moda for Poland. So, um, of course, yeah. he had a bit of a he had a bit of an up and down game, didn't he? He, he done I really he was well. Good, like from what I saw of it, I mean, it's just well. Um, I mean, he did give away a penalty, which obviously isn't never the best. Pen that was it. Do you think it was a penalty? Because I didn't think it was it, a pen. It would be a penalty in the Premier League, which is why I thought when Sterling went down against Scotland, I thought it was going to be a pen, but it wasn't yeah. a pen. Well, it was like, I it was like it was the Ampadu like challenge. Touch on the foot. It was like the Ampadu yeah. challenge yesterday. Like Ampadu oh, no, challenge. was on red card for that. Amp- Ampadu was like, worse. No, no, but, but, but I mean, as in like people were saying, oh, that wasn't a red card. So it's like... Oh, I don't think it was this... a red card, no. It's a trick. I don't yeah. think... So I don't yeah, think you, you just said it was much worse, so... A pen. I don't think Modus was a pen. Like genuinely, that happens all the time. Because he pulled out of that challenge. Like that happens yeah. if you if we went to play football down the park right and I go in for a ball and I pulled out the challenge and then st- still caught you on the foot like it's not gonna one it's not gonna even really hurt that much and two come on like, that's not a foul is it we just caught a little bit late like no, but Ampadu would be a left uh, left Ampadu would be like a yellow card and then yeah Mo just was yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think, think I, I must admit I must admit, I think Ampadu was yellow was a red yeah really? I, I, what? I I, I no, was on that I, side I but then I only saw it qu- quickly so. Um, yeah, I, I yeah. think the yellow card would have been suffice, I think, for Ampadu. Maybe that's just because um, I wanted Wales to lose and had a little bit of bias on me. But Ah, right, yeah. yeah most probably. Know, probably. But also as well, ju- just quickly, on, on the officiating, how mad has the officiating been, like the standards, from watching the yeah. Premier League week in, week out, to, to the Euros? How how refreshing has it been? Because we don't get to watch VAR uh, reviews. Like, they don't show us the VAR reviews, so mm. they just get them done behind closed doors. It is or it isn't. Yeah, and it's done, they get so them done really quickly as well. It was yeah. the um, Portugal yeah. one that comes to mind. It just was done instantly. Like the was it a mistake? Mm. Uh, no, sorry, it's an offside, wasn't it? Call on Gosens, and it was just done literally, and yeah. that was it. And it wasn't. The they're, of they're, more, they're more lenient as well, which are like they're, I've seen a few mm. tackles going in. Like if the player goes down really easily, the referees are like, "No, nah, get the fuck out." Yeah, yeah. Just play which, on. which I thought yeah. would be. I thought it would be a lot more stricter 
it, it being the year yeah. I thought would be a lot more strict about it. it's but I, I think it's it's good to see. for, for for me, the big takeaway though is just it just proves that it's not a VAR problem. It's not the technology; it is the people running it. So the officials in England and the that stupid is the laws in England as well. We've got so many stupid yeah. rules that we've got. Yeah, yeah. It's but, just, um, uh, yeah. as well, as well. Um, what was the, there was one bad moment in the in the world in the Euros that I disagree with properly. Um, it was a penalty. Um, was it on Lewandowski when he got elbowed? But it wasn't really an elbow, like. Did, did you did you see it? I think uh, it was on level. Oh yeah, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. Dej- up, Dej- Dej- Lovren. Who was it? On? Was it Lovren? Yeah, he went up with the Lovren ball and headed it man. clear. And um, I can't remember who it was. Oh, no, now. Croatia against Czech Republic. Croatia. He, it was on Schick. Elbowed, it was on Schick. Yeah, he yeah. elbowed Schick because Schick yeah. done, uh, took the penalty with a bloody nose. Yeah, and he went up. He did caught. He did catch him, but he went to go yeah. head of the ball. I don't no way a penalty ever. No. But that was what was the only one that comes to mind that was really bad. Yeah, that was the first one where they fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, a shout out to them, to be fair. Like, the officiating and the, the speed of VAR has been incredible. Like, there's, like not one what, not one time have we talked to me like, up, in, up, up in arms, like, oh my God, like, what a joke of a decision. Like, what, why is VAR doing? Like, yeah. Not once. Whereas in the Premier League, it Pop happens pretty much <laughs> every week. Yeah, well, yeah, shit, apart from that. But no, but, but like, every week it happens in the Premier League, doesn't it? Every week without fail. Lee there's, Mason, there's a, you can't watch a game with Dunk to happen. take a free kick. Yeah. And then Dunk taking the free kick and then him saying, oh no, don't. Yeah. It's, not a it's just like, a pure that, incompetence. Would, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. mad, it's mad. But there you go. Right, and then the final thing, just to wrap up the pod, uh, of course, we've got. Let, let's talk about England, England at the Euros. Um, so the, the big talking point, I suppose, well, there's a lot of talking points because England aren't really performing as they should be, really. Uh, but one of the big talking <laughs> points is... season. <laughs> yeah. that attack, you should be doing so oh. much more better, so much better. Yeah, so of course, better. of course. Was it but three like, shots and target is... in the first two? Yeah, well, Kane, Kane obviously Scotland. been up just top. Kill me. Well, yeah, Kane's getting a lot of stick, isn't he? Uh, as, as a striker, yeah. a lot of the, like, the media going that, for him. Though. I don't agree with that. I think I, I think Kane's been bad. Don't get me wrong, but mm. he's getting nothing. He's getting absolutely yeah, nothing. Safe. He was played one on his own the service, against the Scotland yeah. back five with two holding mids behind him and Sterling, who didn't even give him the ball at all. And I don't even know. Foden was on the right side of position. I just don't. I don't understand it for the life of me. What goes through Gareth Southgate's head? Because we've got so much good players. Oh, it just it winds the, me up. That's so my much. my biggest. Yeah, my biggest. Like uh, also, like I'm trying to look for the word. What like what's most confusing to me is, for example, Jaden Sancho. I think he got uh, 18 goals, Where is 17 he? assists, or something. Yeah. I think basically his goal his goal uh, goal involvement was like 36 or something crazy like that last yeah. season for Bundes uh, in the Bundesliga for Borussia Dortmund. And how he's not got one minute on the pitch I is know. just baffling. Grealish like, too, another one. Grealish yeah, starts Grealish, every single yeah. game ever for me. It doesn't yeah. matter what team you're in. Grealish starts. Mm. Sancho starts. Kane starts. But you know, you know, Grealish. I've got to say this before we go. It's, uh, we have got the first two games, we've averaged 8.5 shots per 90. And that ranks us 21st out of the 24 countries in the tournament. Yeah. Uh, with the attack, we've got one of the best attacks in the mm. tournament. And we've, uh, we're that low. It's mental. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And you know what annoys me so much? People think that my agenda for Southgate comes from Dunk not getting called up. When I literally said so many times back in 2018, saying in the Euros we'll underperform because we will not attack, we'll just defend and defend and defend. Yeah. And people can look through any tweet, any YouTube, anything. I've said the same thing every time, so they can't sound being reactionary. It's so bad. We just defend low block, mm. two at the back. Yeah, it's, sorry, it's, it's the, oh, it's the two DM. Yeah, it's the two DMs that really sort of irk me. It's like why you don't need that. You just have Phillips play, or even play a, a midfield of three, midfield three, and then uh, three forwards. Like you know, it's bad. We managed three. to make Rice look bad. That's when you know it's bad. We managed to make one of the best thing is, holding mids in the league look bad. I, I'm still, I'm still not convinced of Rice. For me, uh, the judgment's still out on Rice. I, th- I think he's still. He's co- I'm not saying shit. Man. I'm not saying. I'm not saying he's shit. But he, I, I, I don't think he's as good as everyone makes out. Like, no, I, I, I find it funny though. Everyone was like, well, especially Leeds fans were like, um, Calvin Phillips or Calvin Phillips, like uh, that. What's it, Yorkshire Pirlo? Oh got yeah. T-shirts yeah. of him like sipping tea or whatever like that, and. He's, yeah. That was after one game, and then you see him how he played against Scotland. You're just like, yeah, 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 that yeah. is so embarrassing. Imagine I, I, the thing is, I feel then... for um, I feel for Phillips and I feel for Rice because uh, Rice at West Ham is quality because he's able to be so free. He's got a free role, so he can basically dictate that whole midfield. Whereas with England, mm. he's stuck in that in that mm. too. So he basically can't do anything himself. He's having to pass it to pass it to Phillips, pass it back to Stones, pass it to mm. Mings. And so do, do, do you know it's for me it, for me it's they're very similar in terms of style like I, I'd like to see a, a sort of chalk and cheese like, I, I'd want one because I, I feel like they're very similar they're very similar yeah, in terms of who they are I yeah yeah it. like 
get someone alongside him. So, like, start one of them, and then you, unfortunately, one of them's going to have to drop uh, yeah. drop out of the team. Bellingham, and then, yeah, me. put a Bellingham or put 100%. a Mount or you know alongside them because they'll 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 react better. Like you said, Ryan. Like Rice. Imagine Rice was playing alongside Bellingham, for example. He'd be yeah, you know, exactly. he could do his own thing. Whereas with Rice, uh, with Phillips, he's got a sort of, they they do the same job. They do the same thing. Yeah. And it's like, why do you need two of the same? Like you just don't. Um, as well, so on the Brighton opinion, perspective of it, Ben White, I'm so glad he's not playing for England, to be honest, because could you imagine Ben White in a solid back four having to play defensive football? He'd be awful in that because he can't yeah. win headers. Yeah, he's, he's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't be able to come forward. He'd have to sit back with Mings or Stones. It would just be it would be getting the worst out of Ben White possible because he'd, he'd be made to look awful, basically, in this setup because he yeah. wouldn't be able to come in, a, in his driving force as he does. So, as much as I hate to say it, I think, I think Whit Mings has been one of our better defenders. I don't know has. if you guys agree. Yeah, but he yeah, does. unfortunately, he has been good. And yeah, against, yeah, especially against Croatia, yeah, all, he's decent. All the, all the sticky, all the stick we yeah. gave him. But yeah, again, yeah, I think he's, he's I think um, Southgate set up suits Mings because when he plays in Villa's expansive, he, he gives the ball away so many times. But he's so covered by two holding mids, and then he's also able to just head the ball out. He's not yeah. really challenged too much, apart from you know a couple of attempts. So. It basically suits a, a big man like Tyro Mings, I think. It's gonna, to be fair to me, it's going to be so. It's going to be funny though because I, I, well, I, I'm very, very confident that Southgate will drop Mings for for Maguire in the last game because obviously he wants Maguire well, to get the would, match fitness. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be a bit harsh, isn't it? Like, as much as we all killed Mings off, it's like, well, you know, he's going to have to go kind of thing. You, and you could argue he's played better than Stones. So it's like, it's one of those things where it's mm. going to be difficult. And also, final thing on the Grealish thing, because I remember you saying, Ryan, about the whole Grealish thing. He, Southgate has made it perfectly clear on multiple occasions. I, I can remember on the top of my head, two occasions in interviews where he sat there and like the interview has gone, oh, you know, Jack Grealish played really well today for, yeah. for England. And he's just gone, oh yeah, yeah, Mason Mount was great today. Like, he's, yeah, just, no. he's just completely ignored Grealish. Well, and gone on and talked about someone else. So he's clearly got a disdain for Grealish yeah. for whatever reason. He's clearly. I know that Grealish is an him. idiot, but he's so good at football. It's a joke. So why don't you play him, man? Like, come on. Well, he, but, yeah. well he's clearly got an agenda for whatever reason. He's clearly got an agenda against Grealish, and I don't don't know why. Gets to me. Um, yeah, it gets to me because I know how good we could be with the amount of players yeah. we got. I think that's yeah. why it angers me so much because I know how good yeah. we can be, and mm. I'm not no, claiming to be a football manager, but. <sighs> yeah, I, I could just I think, see it getting. I think so all better. England fans, though, like all England fans, are saying the same thing. It's like you know, bring Grealish in, play. Yeah. Don't play two DMs. Um, even you know, though, like, like this my all, mate, right? Cal, if he he won't watch this, he is so <laughs> annoying. He is so annoying. He literally hounds me all the time. Back in Southgate, re- relentlessly. Doesn't matter what he does. He dropped Sancho out of the squad in the first game. Didn't yeah, even mention man. it. It was up, mate. Yeah, he deserved it probably. He didn't didn't turn up in training probably. I guess he backed him no matter what. Even against Scotland, he was like, "Yeah, it's a tactical masterclass from Southgate because he didn't want to win the game so we can have an easier run." It's like, mate, we literally just <laughs> parked the bus against one of the worst sides in our group, the worst side in our group. Oh, Czech Republic! I'm not looking forward to. I'm not looking forward mm. to it at all. Imagine, mate. Imagine if England uh, don't get a result there. That would be. That'd be we're done. Nuts. Well, if we done, lose and wait, Scotland win by a certain amount of goals, it? we're done. Yeah, but by right. a certain amount of goals, but I, I think, think it's two or three yeah. goals, isn't it? Two or three goals. Well, no, but so, I think so, we even if you finish third, we will be yeah, pretty much guaranteed. Best, to, yeah, best best oh, third really? place. You finish third uh, yeah. with four points. Oh yeah, yeah it's yeah. that third place. You're pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, it's the third. Yeah, yeah. So oh. so England can't go out pretty much. Well, <laughs> if we do, uh, yeah, they, yeah, they can't. But <laughs> I want to get. We want to get second, don't we? I, I keep people keep telling me different things, but tell me if I'm wrong. If we finish first, we play second place out of France, Germany, Portugal. And then if we finish second, we play first uh, out of like Sweden, Spain, and someone and someone else. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So yeah, either way, it's not so, an easy yeah. run because even if we got well, no, Sweden, no, or Spain, we want we want to finish second. I want to yeah. finish second, hundred percent. Although that means that we don't have the. But yeah, if we finish first and we play at Wembley until the semis, but we won't even get that far anyway. So it doesn't but, really matter. But to finish, yeah. but to finish second though, don't 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 Czech Republic need to beat England though to finish second? No, they just need to draw. Draw. Oh, what, and then uh, Croatia win. No, no, we don't need. No, we yeah, Czech win. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Okay. Yeah, if we get a point, we'll be one point clear of uh, Scotland. Still, Czech yeah. Republic are the best team in the, in our group, hundred percent. I want, I want a draw tonight. They uh, tomorrow night, sorry. Well, that won't be tonight yeah. by the time. Right. I know, notice yeah. I say team yeah. as well. I don't say squad. They're the best team in our in our group because they actually yeah, play together, team. unlike some. Yeah. So yeah. Well, yeah. all right. For, and Italy are the best team in the in the tournament. Oh mate, all the way. 
Forza, Forza Italia, just for my, basically, for for one of the things I've done, it's like a prediction 0. thing. 0.5% within... Ita- Italian found out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, uh, we uh, we did like a prediction thing and I predicted Italy to win. And if, if Italy do win, I can get an international top of my choice. So, really? Forza Italia, just for that. Forza Italia. I hope they boys. lose now. <laughs> yeah. Come on, the Portugal boys. <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, just to round up then, boys, round up the podcast. Ryan, predictions for tomorrow, uh, England versus uh, Oh, God, Czech. England. Um, he'll, put, he'll play for a draw, so um, best case scenario is a draw, otherwise we'll lose. So I reckon uh, one all. I was going to go for that, but yeah, go on, Ben. Yeah, I was going to say, hope 1-0 until like the 93rd minute and then we'll pass it back to Pickford and he'll just do that, like, <laughs> lie on the ground and head it in for an own goal just so he finished second, probably. That's what I'm praying for. <laughs> Dominate and then, yeah, just score a cheeky own goal just to make sure we get an easier run. Oh, ultimate pain. So, yeah. so we're all going one all, one all, all around the board. Yeah, well, I can't see us going for it. Can you? So, no. I mean, like, like you said, Ryan, Czech Republic are, are a decent side. So, I mean, a draw, one all. Yeah, I, I studied them at the beginning of the Euros because I'm a proper nerd. As I said, I studied a load of teams, and Czech was one of them. Uh, Sweden, Ukraine, uh, Italy as well. So, yeah. My, did you have, uh, have Turkey as your dark horse? Too. Yeah. No, I'm not not like a certain Tom Garrett out there who uh, oh. dodgy things in 2014 too. So, no, um, oh. I didn't do that. All no. right, there you go. I wasn't right. Italy, um, train. And then, Italy Sorry, train. And then, what should we have train. in the comments com- comment section down below? I reckon um, Forza, I thinking, Forza Italia. I think. No, no, absolutely not. I reckon. <laughs> uh, thank you, proper, with a blue love heart. Ah, oh, okay, that's sweet. All yeah. right, we'll do that. Thank, thank you, proper. In the in the comments down below, if you're watching on YouTube, and of course, uh, yeah, Thanks if you are watching on YouTube, away, but it's time to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, cheers for the ten mil. <laughs> cheers for the ten mil, but see you later. Uh, no, um, yeah, so please don't comment down below, and of course, if you are watching on YouTube, please give us a like. That does mean a lot to us, um, and also keep streaming on Apple and uh, the other one. I can't remember which other one. Apple, go on, uh, Spotify. There you go, Brian. Go. Just find it quick. And there was one moment from Davy Proper that sticks out in my mind, and it. It's probably gone under the radar. I don't even know if we'll be able to find did he, it. Did he streak the Amex? Um, no. Was it, <laughs> it's was when it we one played against goals? Bournemouth and he literally took out he took out one play, threw him on the floor and he two-footed someone else and then he got a yellow card like straight after. But I can't find what the clip. Legend, um, was it on Jefferson yeah. Lerma? Because then that would be even better. <laughs> probably. I can't remember what it was though, but I, I'll see if I've tweeted it one sec. Just check up Davy Proper, Ryan Adset, see if it comes up with anything. I don't know if I did. Might have done. Right. Ben, no, if you're editing, um, play elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not there. It's not there. Oh well, it's gone. But yeah, if you if you can find it, then find it. If you can't, then sorry. But yeah, it was an iconic moment. But yeah, that's all. But right, but props anyway. J- just quickly, uh, uh, Ben, I've just gone on Twitter and uh, I've seen that Love Island's trending, so I clicked on it. Um, I don't think that listen has been announced. Unless she's the the apparently there's one more to be announced, but uh, unless that's she could be the going to be her. It looks like she could be more, that. You know, they always oh, you, don't, you don't watch it, but basically in the first episode they always do like the coupling up. So like the, all the guys will come out, or all the guys, girls will yeah. come out, and either either one of the genders will all be lined up, and then they. Uh, all the girls will step forward for the one guy and then he will have to pick what girl he gets with or vice versa. And then at the end of that episode, they always have like a bombshell walk in and see right. if it's Lucinda. Oh, so she can still come in. She later could on. be that bombshell, yeah. Right, right, right. There you go. Yeah. Lovely way to end it. Absolute pleasure. We hope you all you enjoyed it. And uh, we shall see Follow you. Follow Seagull oh, Social oh, on actually... Instagram for daily Love Island updates. Yeah, yeah don't do that. <laughs> um, also, uh, we, we, we could have a potential uh, special guest next week as well. Uh, special guest yeah, next week. Yeah, maybe not next week, though. The whole okay. Te- technology thing, but yeah, right. it will be good. A week though. after, very good guest. Yeah. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Right. Peace out. Eight on down in a bizzle. Peace. <laughs>